Hey guys, I'm Jack Fawcett, and this is the One Control Baltic Blue Fuzz. The Baltic Blue Fuzz is like a Big Muff for the refined Big Muff player. For the Big Muff player who prefers wine and cheese to beer and pizza. You hear what I'm saying? You smell what I'm stepping in? You picking up what I'm putting down? Are you buying what I'm selling? It has kind of the effect of playing a Big Muff into a pushed amp. It's smoother. It's not quite as... <laughs> So for those of you who like the sound of a Big Muff, this is great for a number of things. This is great for someone who just wants a sweet fuzz tone and doesn't have to manipulate a whole bunch of settings and, and things to, to get it. It just sounds great off the bat. It's great for those who love fuzz tones but who haven't tried fuzz pedals before. Fuzz pedals can be an acquired taste, much like wine, you see, as long as you're drinking at a responsible age. I remember the first time I plugged in a fuzz pedal and I didn't get it. And, and, you know, fuzz pedals to get a lot of classic smoother fuzz tones, you need to either stack them with an overdrive or play them into a cook and amp. Some fuzz players are just raspy, but, you know, they're certainly not like overdrives. But uh, I know, like for me, when I tried out fuzz pedals, I was like, okay, I got to figure this out because so many tones that I love are from fuzz pedals. But when I plug them in, they're not sounding like it. This one's great because this one will sound like the tones that you're hearing in your head. It just sounds great. I'm a big fan. Couple big things about this. It's so quiet. A lot of fuzz pedals, as soon as you kick it on, it's just noise. It's just, you, you know, you can't even take your hands off the string. This is very quiet. You can get this great singing sustain, kind of in Gilmore-ish territory, but it's, it, there's not a lot of noise. There's not a lot of feedback. There's not that big amp that you're gonna hear in the background. So you've just heard it with a Fender Stratocaster loaded with Righteous Sound Opals, which are a 50 style set. I thought that would be kind of a cool guitar going into the Marshall. Uh, the Marshall has an Alnico speaker in it and I have it dialed in to kind of sound like it's a higher watt amp. Real heavy in the mid-range, not quite that upper mid-range raspiness like you'd expect from, uh, you know, Marshall. It's a, a little smoother, uh, a little bit higher headroom, and this pedal works great into that. So I use that setup first because it kind of gets the cool Gilmore sound. I uh, also heard it with a delay pedal, not only for David Gilmore, but because I also like Brett Kingman, and so do you. Now for the next part, I'm going to play with a Gibson SG Classic loaded with Righteous Sound Ninja 90s, which are a noiseless P90. Yes, they are a P90. Yes, they are noiseless. Yes, they sound great. I have no idea how he does it. He won't tell me, and it frustrates me to no end. Here's what we're going to do for the next part. This is kind of interesting. I, I, rather than just showing it with two different guitars like I usually do, this is straight from Bjorn, the designer. This is uh, designed by BJF. In the original 1979 Big Muff manual, there was a Carlos Santana setting, which supposedly he used, where you turn the sustain and the tone all the way off. Now, Bjorn said he tried that, and it did not make any sense. It was, you know, just not getting a Santana sound. But thought it would be cool for this one to make that a Santana tone. There's a lot of lore about Santana with Big Muffs. Check out Kit Ray if you want more information. My understanding is that he was in an ad for one, and it had the setting in the manual. However, I don't believe there are any known recordings or live performances of Santana using a Big Muff. That's as far as I know. That could be completely wrong, so don't quote me on that. But it's worth doing a little research because I love Santana and I love Big Muffs. So anyway, so with the tone all the way off and the sustain all the way off on this pedal you get a really cool Santana tone. So we're gonna start with that. I decided to use that SG because it's kind of similar to the one that uh, Santana used at Woodstock. And uh, we'll go through some of the other settings from there. Again, playing into the Marshall Blues Breaker. I hope you guys enjoy this demo. I really like this pedal. If you're looking for the elusive fuzz tone and you don't like fuzz pedals, this is one you wanna try out, trust me. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.